Okay, this is going to be a, an unboxing video, and this is a bunch of items that I purchased from uh, Pyramid Air, and they're an uh, air rifle specialty company uh, in Ohio, and this is the accessories that I purchased from them for my uh, Air Force Condor air rifle, 25 caliber one, which I did an unboxing on a couple of days ago. Okay, so without any further ado, let's slice into this. And see what we have on the inside. Oh, packaging material, of course. Got to keep our things safe during transport. And this is the invoice. And let's see what we have here. Okay. And some of these things I'll eventually do uh, an independent video on. Okay, this is a 3 to 12 power, 44 millimeter objective, full 36 color, AccuShot, AccuShot SWAT IE scope. Okay, so this is the scope. And 10 yards up. Illuminating, illumination enhancing, range estimating, i.e. reticle intensified. And that's what it's going to look like. And I believe that this has a 30 millimeter tube. And it comes with uh, Picatinny Weaver rings on it. Uh, unfortunately, um, the Condor uses dovetail mounts. So, I have what looks like 30 millimeter scope rings. All right, quick detach lock, universal air gun rings. Hopefully, this works out for me. Fit scope outer objective up to 60 millimeters. Okay. And the scope I have is 44 millimeters, so I think I'm in good shape. I have also a SWAT side wheel for full size scope. We'll see if that works. Um, since I got this from Pyramid Air, they have a really excellent website and they have a lot of reviews for their products consumer reviews and from all indications everything that I've purchased here is excellent material so hopefully uh, my experience with it will be as good as the reviewers and what is this Okay, this Air Force Air Guns CO2 adapter. Okay, I'll probably do something separately on this. But the Air Force Air Guns typically run on or are powered by compressed air. And you can use CO2 as well. That's my understanding. Now the instruction manual may say use only um, compressed air or nitrogen only, but um, like I said, I'll have to dig a little deeper and see if it can actually use that. In any case, I have the material there or the item there and we'll give it a go. And this is uh, Air Force Air Guns Tilt Bipod. And you can attach a bipod to the Air Force um, Condor series and I believe the Talon series as well of uh, air rifles 
and that's a dovetail style styled mounts I'm not sure why they use dovetails on that but if it works it works and this big guy here is the Air Force hand pump okay and it says the same thing on that side and this thing is pretty weighty I would say that it probably weighs about I don't know maybe feels like about eight to ten pounds of course I'm not in a very good position here holding it aloft but in any case um, in order to actually pressurize the uh, compressed air canister there's two ways you can do it you can either do it from a compressed air bottle such as a uh, scuba or a SCBA bottle uh, I'm not sure whether or not you can go you can probably go directly from a uh, full sized uh, compressed air um, cylinder but I don't have the capacity for actually maintaining that um, I don't think I would actually want um, in any of my residence or shops or you know storage places a full cylinder of compressed air anyway so the only other options would be to perhaps take it someplace uh, to get it filled get a scuba or SCBA tank for that the smaller bottles or use the hand pump and put in the work to get it done I'm not against putting in the work to get it done but uh, my understanding is that it uh, takes quite a bit of effort to do it but gotta do what you gotta do well, but in any case uh, these are some of the items that I purchased as accessories for my Air Force Condor air rifle in 25 caliber Alright, thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think about my little um, shipment that I have here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.